That'll keep people yeah, interested between now and September Caught 14. Over Skype. <laughs> <laughs> now, a Melbourne doctor is facing possible punishment after refusing to refer a couple for an abortion because they had made it clear that they didn't want to have a girl. Dr Mark Hobart admits that he's broken the law by refusing to provide this referral to a patient on moral grounds. His moral grounds. He could be suspended or even potentially deregistered. Two years ago, Dr Hobart stood as a candidate for the anti-abortion Democratic Labor Party at a Victorian by-election. Some obstetricians are now proposing that there should be a ban on parents knowing the sex of unborn babies until it is too late for a termination to prevent abortions based on gender. Christian Kerr, what's your take on this? Some might argue that if, if parents have the right to decide whether to have a child or not, it's reasonable for them to also decide if they want a boy or a girl. Look, it's an incredibly difficult decision. I mean, particularly, I mean, so many couples, you know, I just know through being going through the experience myself, you know, sometimes one person wants to know the um, sex of the child, another person in the relationship might not want to. You've got all these incredibly complicated dynamics, let alone before you actually get on to that whole area of termination. It's just one of those incredibly awkward moral dilemmas. And I think it's something really worth discussing. I mean, how do we feel about this? We've seen some of those terrible consequences as a China's one-child policy, where you've got, for various cultural reasons, families preferring to have boys and abort aborting girls. I mean, it seems to be an issue in so many different places around the world, this whole issue of people preferring sons to daughters and aborting daughters. I think it's something that we really need to have quite a strong discussion about. Uh, Kate, on this, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the cultural issue is, is often cited as uh, genetic issues. There's more likely to be a deformity in a, in, a, in a boy child or a girl child, and therefore there is some selection process there. But what if we were to turn it around and say, okay, this isn't about whether to have an abortion, or, 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 or it's a matter of aborting a female child, for instance, but, but if, they, if the parents were to say, well, look, we're planning on having an abortion, we want a referral for an abortion, but if it's a boy, we will maybe keep it I, instead I if you're to, saving a life. I have to tell you, this is so frustrating. This is such a beat up. This is the first time I heard that Dr Mark Hobart is act actually ran for the Democratic DLP. Labor Party. I have to say News Limited did not report that on Sunday. News Limited reported John Madigan from the Democratic Labor Party suggesting that uh, all the more reason to support his bill in the Senate which will remove Medicare funding for gender selection for abortions. John Madigan, when asked by somebody, by Jonathan Green on the ABC, said yes he will take this further and if that goes in yes he absolutely has every uh, intention of going further on abortion law reform John Madigan could be one of these people who are in the balance of power after the next um, after the next election in the same article that News Limited ran, there were other people quoted, the Australian, uh, Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists, who said that, no, this, is, this never happens. And if any doctor was asked, there is no way they would do that. So we've got one doctor mm. from the Democratic Labor Party, I think it's outrageous, frankly, who has got front page news. News Limited has completely fallen for it. Now we're discussing it on the drum. So it's not an issue and all of the other professionals who were asked all said it's not an issue. And, and yet it's been identified as an issue in the United Kingdom for instance yes, with but some not Southeast here. Asian communities. But, yes. There hasn't been uh, to my knowledge polling of it mm. here uh, but why would we be as a multicultural society uh, why would we be any different to the well, UK? Well I do feel like that we're just falling into the trap that John Madigan and his mates at the Democratic Labor Party have tried to actually pitch this as a it's a red herring it's actually not an issue we're not it's one doctor who what ran as a candidate and is anti-abortion for the Democratic Labor Party is now kind of starting this narrative that we have couples here in Australia who are asking to abort based on gender. He's quoted one couple. Every other doctor quoted in the, in the News Limited story said we never asked and nobody would actually um, do that if they were asked and if it happened once it's completely you know out of the ordinary so, so you're saying that there isn't enough apparent demand for the procedure to warrant even well, discussing it on a sort of ethical or hypothetical level because i know his intentions and his intentions are ultimately to restrict women's right to choose his intention is to for the democratic labor party to get this through in the senate just on this stir up hysteria in the community and then slowly 
rewind back gains and continue to push for different abortion law reform and restrict women's access to abortion. That's so his is ultimate this, goal. Is this Peter deliberately really taking the, the argument a step too far, sort of going from, from gay marriage to, uh, to uh, you know, uh, uh, polyamorous relationships or marrying goats or whatever it might be, uh, to, <laughs> to make it something that is clearly ridiculous, uh, that it isn't happening, as Kate says? Well, I, I, I had the same Im impulse when I read that. It was one situation and then to find it was being pushed by a political activist. I think the last person that wants this debate running is actually Tony Abbott, who's from that DLP position or tradition, who's worked really hard to put this particular issue in a bottle. But, you know, this is the way that politics works. You create the moral panic and you run off the back of it. I can't see this having much of a shelf life. All right, then. Well, there are calls today for a boost to welfare payments after a report by the charity.